Well, we've just got word that uh, Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim is about to announce his cabinet lineup. Let's take you there to Putrajaya. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings to all. And salam sejahtera. <coughs> Terima kasih. Thank you. Atas kesediaan untuk bersama-sama uh, dalam majlis For being with me today. pembentukan jemaah menteri yang baru. For the announcement of the cabinet ministers. Sebenarnya ada beberapa Actually, anggapan bahawa there are some assumptions. I have already said that I have decided that I will say it at 8.15 p.m. Berminat untuk menyegerakan sebab itu disebut jam 5. There were others who wanted to have this announcement earlier, that's why they said it was at 5 o'clock. I went to Ipoh to meet the Sultan. And after that, I attended a feast with the people in Tambun. This is a cabinet of the unity government. So there are a few principles. Semua kekuatan induk dan dukungan berikutnya. To uphold all the strength of this government. The main strength is Pakatan Harapan. Undi terbanyak dan that received the most votes and the most number of member of parliament followed by Barisan Nasional and GPS Sarawak. We have reached a consensus, not just to form the cabinet, but a few core principles. Good governance, and also the priority to spur the economy and also to lift up the burden on the people in terms of cost of living. This consensus enables us to extend our reach to GRS which is now aside from Warisan, Apko and Others. This means that the strength of the unity government in parliament has reached about two thirds. With this mandate, it has given us confidence to form a cabinet that is more united and we work as a team and focus on spurring the economy to refresh it and to focus on the welfare of the people. Now I will announce the names of ministers of the unity government. Perdana Menteri Anwar Ibrahim dan The Prime Minister is Anwar Ibrahim and also Minister for Finance. Simalan Perdana Menteri dan The Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for Rural Affairs Ahmad Zahid Hamidi. Timbalan Perdana Menteri Deputy Prime Minister Perdagangan dan Komoditi and Minister for Commodities and Agriculture, Fadilah Yusof. Minister for Transport, Lok Siu Fook, Lok Siu Fook, or Anthony Lok. Menteri Pertanian dan Keterjaminan Makanan. The Minister for Agriculture, Muhammad bin Sabu. Menteri Ekonomi. Economic Minister Ramli. 
Rafizi Ramli. Menteri Pembangunan Kerajaan Tempatan. Nga Komeng. Menteri Pertahanan. Nga Komeng is the Minister for Rural Development. Muhammad bin Haji Minister Hassan. for Defence Muhammad Haji Hassan. Menteri Kerja Raya. Works Minister Alexander Nanta Linggi. Alexander Nanta Linggi. Minister for Interior Affairs, Saifuddin Nasution bin Ismail. Menteri Perdagangan Antarabangsa dan Industri. Minister for International Trade and Industries, Tengku Zafrul Abdul Aziz. Menteri Pendidikan Tinggi. Minister for Higher Education, Muhammad Khalid bin Nordin. Muhammad Khalid bin Nordin. Menteri Sains dan Teknologi. Sains and Technology Chang Lee Kang Chang Lee Kang Menteri Pembangunan Wanita, Keluarga dan Masyarakat Minister for Women and Social Affairs Binti Shukri Nancy Binti Shukri Menteri Perdagangan Dalam Negeri dan Kos Sara Hidup Minister for Domestic Trade Bin Ayub Salahuddin Bin Ayub Menteri di Jabatan Perdana Menteri Minister in the Prime Minister's Sama Office Undang dan Reformasi Institusi For Law and Reformation Betty Osman Dr Azalina bin Osman Menteri Sumber Asli Alam Sekitar dan Perubahan Iklim Minister for uh, Climate Change Nik Nik Ahmad Nik Nazmi Nik Ahmad Menteri Pembangunan Usahawan dan Koperasi Minister for Iwan Enterprise Benedict Yuan Benedict Menteri Luar Negeri Minister for Menteri Foreign Affairs Zamri bin Abdul Kadeh Zamri bin Abdul Kadeh Menteri Pelancongan Minister for Tourism Tiong King Singh Dr. Uh, Datuk Tiong Seng King Menteri Komunikasi Digital Minister for Digital Ahmad Communication Ahmad Fadil Ahmad Fami bin Ahmad Fadil Menteri Pendidikan Minister for Education Fadlina binti Sidik Fadlina binti Sidik Menteri Perpaduan Negara Minister for Agu National Unity Anak Dagang Agu Anak Dagang Menteri Agama Minister for Religion Ketua Mahkamah Syariah sekarang Who is Ketua the head Ketua of the Sharia Court now? Datuk is the head Ketua of the Ketua judges Naim there? Bin Haji Dr. Matar. Muhammad Naim Ahmad Matar Menteri Belia dan Sukan Youth Yu and Suan. Sports Yu Xiao Suan Or Hana Yeo Menteri Kesihatan Health Minister Dr. Zaleha binti Mustafa. Dr. Zaleha binti Mustafa. Menteri di Jabatan Perdana Menteri Urusan Sabah dan Sarawak. Minister in the Prime Minister's Armizan Office for Sabah and Sarawak. Muhammad. Armizan bin Muhammad Ali. Sementara itu, urusan kerajaan khususnya Kementerian Kewangan akan dibantu oleh... The Minister for... Finance will be assisted by a few advisors who will not receive any pay. It will be headed by Petronas, Tansri the advisor of Petronas, Marikan. Tan Sri Hassan Marikan. Okay, ada soalan? Any questions? Setelah mengangkat sumpah jam 3 petang esok, insyaAllah, after they have taken their oath tomorrow at 3 p.m. in front of the Agong, I will hold a meeting with the ministers so that a few guidelines, directions will be introduced with the intention to focus our efforts kerja mereka, menjalankan kerja in executing their work and to avoid 
tentang kemungkinan pembaziran rasuah any doubt that there will be an abuse of power or corruption i have decided that in the cabinet of the unity government what we will focus on is good governance dan isu yang boleh atau langkah-langkah harus diambil untuk meringankan measures that must be taken to relieve the burden of the people well the main focus is still economy the economy baik terima kasih thank you penyimatan sebenarnya itu adalah sekiranya Savings we'll see when we can avoid wastage to reduce the budget for frivolous activities. Pejabat Perdana Menteri sendiri. Tentunya penyimatan tidak terlalu banyak dengan pengurangan. Of course, there cannot be much savings. Ia satu permulaan memberikan yang jelas kepada rakyat. To give a clear signal to the people. Kerajaan Perpaduan that the ministers in this unity government with the support of the civil service will ensure that we fulfill this responsibility. Thank you. If you're just joining us, so you've just been listening in to Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim addressing the media and unveiling his lineup for his dream team for the cabinet that will lead Malaysia. Now, he has promised a unity government and in that uh, uh, announcement of who his cabinet men ministers would be, and he, he didn't list all of them at this, at this time, we understand, but a good deal of them, uh, he outlined that that new cabinet uh, had reached a consensus on good governance and with a priority to spur Malaysia's economy as well and to tackle the rising cost of living in the country. Now, that trimmed down cabinet included uh, two deputy prime ministers as well as himself named as finance minister. And that is a role, of course, that he has played in the past. Uh, Amno President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, uh, who is going to be one of the DPMs, will also be minister for rural affairs and interestingly, economic minister. An individual who did well in GE15, Rafizi Ramli, who is, of course, a PKR strategist uh, and a very close ally of uh, Mr. Anwar Ibrahim. Uh, also a minister for international trade. Now, this choice will be interesting to many. Tunku Zafrul Aziz, he is, of course, former finance minister under the administrations of both uh, Muhyiddin Yassin as well as Ismail Sabri Yaqob. And a minister for national unity has been announced as well. Now, Malaysians, of course, have been waiting about a week for this announcement for um, Mr. Anwar's team after he was sworn in as the country's 10th leader. It's believed, of course, that there was intense lobbying before this list was announced. Uh, we were supposed to get an announcement as early as 5 p.m. today. Uh, Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim there telling us that, in fact, it had always been his intention to make this announcement at 8.15 p.m., in Putrajaya. Now, he also had sent this list to Sultan Abdullah earlier today uh, to expedite the appointments that we believe will be sworn in uh, this Monday. Uh, Mr. Anwar had said earlier that their choices had been limited because he did not want too many ministers or envoys of minister, ministerial status in order to reduce expenditure. That's something that uh, Anwar Ibrahim has been careful to uh, deliberate on. He's also said that the cabinet members uh, would be called to attend a special meeting. That's on Monday as well. Now, the task ahead is going to be a big one, the Prime Minister said. Uh, he needs to revive the economy. Uh, it's, uh, we will wait to see what plans he has. He's taking on a big portfolio here, uh, including the provision of quality education, addressing the cost of living issue, of course, and preparing for better health facilities ahead.